I'm Coach Mike Bear, and Dr. Phil has asked me to speak to everyday people to find out what areas of their life they're stuck in. I'm a mother of five, I work, and so just, you know, not making time for myself. The number one thing you want to change about yourself is? It'll be communicating with my significant other. Insecurities. What is one thing that you would never put up with in your relationship, but you have in the past? Disloyalty. Non-transparency. The number one thing I want to change about myself is? Take even more risks. I want to be more outgoing. I hate that I blank, but don't do anything about it. I hate that I don't listen very well sometimes. What is one decision you can make today that's going to better your life? Give love to self. I'm going to give you a hug. Now, I'd like to introduce my good friend and colleague, life coach, Mike Bear. And as you just saw, I sent Coach Mike on a very special assignment to try to figure out if and why so many people get stuck in situations where they know they deserve more. So coach, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. So what was the general gist of additionally what you learned out there? What I learned is everyone is stuck in their own way and some of the stucks are really dug into the ground in some stocks, they just need a little nudge. Uh, everyone has that area of their life they know ne they need to change, and until they stop blaming another person, they don't change it. Sometimes days turn into weeks, weeks turn into months, and a new normal's created, and that's what's happened here. You know, I heard that they both said they love each other. This doesn't feel like love. This feels like two people who are afraid to be alone. Right. You've got to be adult enough to make some decisions that are selfless. You gotta make some decisions that say, I'm a fiduciary. I put my children's interest ahead of my own. And right now, these children are picking up the tab. They're paying the price for your immaturity. Yeah. yeah. I mean, both of you are behaving with a mental age of about 12 or 13. You are having serious anxiety. Yes, sir and it's causing you to vent. And you've got this popularity contest going on where you refer to you and the girls as we. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, we shouldn't be treating mommy this way. We right. shouldn't be doing this. The, the only we here is the family. But you have gotten these girls where they have chosen sides. You say they're daddy's girls. These are daddy's girls. Well, okay, she has trouble bonding. I get that. I understand why you have trouble bonding. You don't trust yourself in that situation, and you're exploiting that fully, and shame on you for doing that. Shame on you for doing that. And you, you say that you caught her cyber cheating, and it's given you license to be a loudmouth bully. That's no way to be a father. That's no way to be a husband. That's no way to be a partner. You've got to decide you're either going to put that behind you or you two need to decide you're going to end this toxic, sick, yep. battering relationship between you. Because this is not love. Whatever you call love, this ain't it. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.